All right, this is where we end up. This is what we started with. And here we are getting started with some Daydream Apothecary paint in salt water. It's a beautiful color, but I wanted it to be a little bit paler. So I started in with some, I added some ground control to it, which is white. I wanted to lighten it up some um, because I thought I would use some salt water over it, which I didn't end up using, but anyway. Um, so there you can see I keep adding and I'm really glad I did because what I started with would not have been enough to finish what I was doing anyway. So anywho, salt water and ground control made this really pretty, much paler color. And we're getting ready to mix it with some salt wash after I get done cleaning out every scrap of <laughs> ground control in my can. Isn't that pretty? I thought salt water was pretty enough on its own, which it is. But then, you know, once you mix, once you mix it a little bit lighter, it's another, another shade that is very, very pretty. But there I am adding salt wash to it, which is just a texture additive in a powder form. I'm just mixing it to the consistency that makes me happy for this project. I'd originally thought I would and see, you can see I took off the curtain off this window and I sanded it just a little. You could see there was a little bit of green peeking out. I thought that might be a cool look, but it just really wasn't. So anyway, I just decided it was, yeah, time for texture. So um, that's what we did. We I mixed salt wash in with our paint. I took a two inch chip brush and just started stippling all over the glass, the frame, everywhere. And that's what I do until I get it completely covered. And I did keep the little hinge on there. I just thought it was so cute. I did take the other hinges off. You can see the little screw holes there. I've thought about covering them up with a transfer or something, but at this point, I have not done anything with them. And then off camera, I did come back and do a second coat wherever it needed it. And there you can see when the two coats are on. And then I came in with my little sander and just knocked down any places that I thought were a little rough and just, you know, knocked it down a, a little bit everywhere on the glass. And then I wiped it off and dusted it all off. And I really probably should have taken a wet rag and wiped it off and then let it dry before I moved on to the next step, but I didn't. And I got by with it, but it might have went a little bit quicker if I had used a damp rag because we're doing a transfer. So, anywho, I got by, but like I said, probably would have been a little less rubbing if I had um, washed it and let it dry. But anyway, next we're using um, a redesign with Prima Transfer called Family Heirlooms and rubbing that on. It did take quite a little while, but again, anything with little individual letters always takes longer than, you know, one big floral or, you know, anything with more of a one big piece to it. So I knew what I was getting into when I started, but I don't know. It's always worth it. And I am the queen of inconsistency. You'll see me go back and forth between the transfer tool, a popsicle stick, and the other kind of stick that comes with them. So there you can see it looks good here. Here I'm coming in with the uh, the polishing pad, that little white pad that I think is always important to use, but then especially once you're using something with texture. But okay, sucky job here, but I just took um, C La V, that pretty blue color you're seeing across the top there. You can't see it because my editing skills suck, but you'll see it on the next color, I promise. 
Um, that's coming up here shortly. But what I did was mix a little bit of C'est La Vie, C'est La Vie, C'est La Vie with water and then um, took that paintbrush that you can see <laughs> and ran it across the top. And uh, there you can see there and uh, sprayed it like that. But I'll do it again with other colors, so don't fret. Don't fret, don't fret, don't fret. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing a lot of this. And that's putting a lot of water on this. So you really ideally should let it dry in between colors, I feel. Because it is it's just a lot of water on a project. I didn't, <laughs> um, but I wish I had. I mean, I should have. I ended up having to fix some things. I didn't leave them in the video. I probably should have, but I was tired of editing, so I just cut out a bunch of stuff. But I did end up having so much water on there that I ended up um, getting it down to the window and having to come back in and add in some of my base texture stuff again, so... So yes, learn from me. Even though I'm drying it right here a little bit, it's not completely dry like you want it to be. So, And actually, I will say my whole base coat of salt wash before we put on the transfer and everything, I did let it sit overnight. So it might even been two days worth. So that I did really let sit and everything. But when we introduce this much water, it's just, it's a lot. Okay, so next I just came in with a very little bit of, oh shoot, what was that color? Whatever it was, and I'm adding just a little bit of water to make it kind of runny. I can't think of the name now. I knew it 10 minutes ago. Something with light in it. But anyway, we got it good and runny. I got a little tooth paintbrush. Just brushed it across the top there. You can see it's already dripping a little bit. That's how I want it. Just like that. And then I'm going to come in with my little mister bottle with water in it. And just squirt it. Oh, I just love that. Makes my heart so happy. That is just perfect to me. And then, you know, I, I'm adding more as I go, wherever I think it needs more. And like I said, you do not have to add this to it. It looked good with just the transfer. And then to me, it looked good with just the C La V. Now to me, it looks good with the C La V and whatever this color is that I cannot remember the name of for the life of me right now. So there's so many places you could stop. It's all totally personal preference. I think that's the area I messed up in earlier on the right side of the screen. Or at some point I messed up. Yep, I can see it's lighter there now because I had to add more of the mixture in. But anyway, there I am. I used Cara Cara for that rusty color. Same thing. Mixed it up with a little bit of water, paint brushed it across there, and spritzed the crap out of it. And this was a day later. I gave it a good, good long break after all that, after those first two colors. And I was one to keep it off the frame, so I kept a um, damp rag with me to uh, try to keep that clean. And I know I do not show at the end. I didn't show that step. Um, I did seal this entire thing once it was all dry. I used a Daydream Apothecary's Dream Coat, which is a water-based sealer, and sealed the entire thing. And this is the last step you'll see me do, is I took full-strength Caracara around the outer edges. <laughs> 